Hey everyone, Scott here to discuss Superman, starring Marlon Brando, Gene Hackman, Christopher Reeve. How is he third billing? Ah, well. Margot Kidder, Ned Beatty, and Jackie Cooper, and directed by Richard Donner. Now, before I get into this movie, I gotta say something. I remember seeing this movie a long time ago as a kid and loving it quite a bit. And... Is it going to remain my love by the time I get to the end of this review? Well, let's get into this movie. The movie starts with a little boy in 1938 opening a reading an action comics of where we're going to meet Superman, which what in the world was that? And we get John Williams' classic score of the theme, and I love the score, but the boy reading an action comics could have been edited in my opinion. Jor-El, played by Marlon Brando, and what is he doing top, being top build is putting General Zod, played by Terrence Stamp, with the giant and Ursa, I don't remember the giant's name off the top of my head, but I know about Ursa, his co-commander's imprisonment, and for all the wrong he's done, and I like Terrence Stamp as commanding presence, and as he's acting against Marlon Brando, whom... I can't believe it's, he's top build, but his Jor-El is much nicer later in the movie and the sequels, but I don't like him in the beginning of this movie, but he improves later on, and all the scenes on Krypton, or as he calls it, Krypton, are kind of boring me in for some reason. Jor-El and his wife, Lara L, send their son, Kal-El, or as they call him, Kal-El, to a planet where there's life that crypt as Krypton is dying, and Kal-El, I'm gonna just call him that. I, don't, I refuse to call him Kal-El, to be honest. Goes to Earth where he meets Jonathan and Martha Kent, aka Mom Pa Kent, as he lives under a new name, Clark Kent. As an adult, played by Christopher Reeve, lives with this power, the powers he's had since he arrived on Earth, and never. Sh shown it to anyone except Mom, Pa, Kent, and I like Clark's origin story as we get to know him, and one day we, he shows off to impress Lana Lang to show off against Bully Brad, let's call him, which we'll see again in part three, and same with Lana Lang, as well as Lana and Clark comes home one day and races with, uh, with Pa Kent and a, as a game and has a heart attack and or maybe stroke attack or something like that which I felt bad for Clark at this point as I like following him in this movie and he realizes he has to go find his real parents and will and will follow him to something great for this movie in my opinion Clark finds his real parents in a place that look like crystals which I'll get to when I get to Superman Returns and finds his real father Jor-El and learns about himself as he becomes Superman and flies away to a city called Metropolis, which is a made-up city, whereas Batman is Gotham City. And DC does a good job with making up those names. Clark gets a job at the Daily Planet with curious Jimmy Olsen and feisty Lois Lane, played by Margot Kidder, with a, po with a boss named Perry White, and I really like these scenes at the Daily Planet. And Margot Kidder, I've met her before. And I have her autograph somewhere. I, I have to really find it. But I really like her as Lois Lane at, as the best. Otis goes back to the train tracks where he's an assistant of the big man himself. The big criminal mastermind, Lex Luthor, played by Gene Hackman. And Lex Luthor is the best... And his Lex Luthor is the best Lex Luthor, even better than Jesse Eisenberg in Batman vs. Superman. My god, let's... Lex sees Otis is being followed by the cops and sets a trap for the cop. And Lex's girlfriend, Miss Tess Schmacher, says he's sick and twisted. And Hackman is better of that than Jesse Eisenberg. The world gets exposed to Superman while saving Lois from a helicopter falling and killing her. And I love the score in this, that scene when Superman catches the helicopter. And Lois and I 
<laughs> love how Lois reacts when she sees Superman carrying herself in the helicopter. As she gets on land, she faints. It just cracked me up. I also like when he stops a cat burglar versus robbers on a boat and saving a cat from a tree. I had fun with these scenes, especially when Lois Lane goes, You got me? Who's got you? Perry White wants to know the Flying Cape Crusader, and Superman goes to Lois Lane's house for an interview with him. And after that, he takes her flying as he, she's thinking, Can you read my mind? And I had to laugh very hard because it sounds like a song from a musical called Can You Read My Mind as a Broadway musical. It was hysterical. Until I found out it's really a song, but it's not from a Broadway or anything like that. Lex, Otis, and Miss Tessmacher get something that makes Superman weak called kryptonite and calls Superman the, to the train tracks and walks into a trap and finds the kryptonite and Lex is planning to destroy the West, or should I say California, which is where Lois as and gets put in water with kryptonite as Miss Teschmacher lets him free to save her mother who lives in California and Superman stops the rocket from killing everyone except Lois Lane and he screams to the heaven which always scared the, the, me as a kid and spins earth around which annoyed me half to death as he's spinning the earth backwards to save Lois's life and he puts Lex and Otis in prison for the action and flies up to space and smiled for the camera and this climax was annoying because Superman spinning earth backwards was too was too powerful cliche but Lois being safe for the next movie and Richard Lester is thinking later on damn if only I if Donner um, killed Lois Lane in that moment or maybe in the next movie because I'll get there when I get to Superman 3 comes to me but otherwise I like this ending but Lois being saved was a little too much as he flies backwards for Superman 3's director Richard Lester as well as the next movie's director. Now it's time for the rating. I'll give this movie a 9.0 out of 10. Other than the ending of this movie I really like this movie. I really love this movie a lot. I really enjoy being around these characters. This plot is wonderful and I really had a fun time with this movie. I love this movie. I will s and we'll see about the sequels, starting with part two. Next week, I will be back with Superman 2. And I'll talk a little bit about the Richard Donner cut versus the Richard Lester cut. And until next time, up, up, and away.